With a hefty 96 kilometers to cover and over 2,000 meters of elevation gain, day two calls for an early start as first light was gracing the Mackenzie Club. The Mbuko type dev combo of Joubert and Buerta had a narrow five second lead to work with, while their backup team were defending a similar margin for third. The efficient Infinity team lead the women's race with a very comfortable 11 minute gap and needed to take no risks. Today we're going down the Umkumas, starting with a nice downhill and then a big climb out of there. So yeah, just gotta, I'm sure Matt and Tristan's gonna drill it up the Umkum or iconic climb. So yeah, we'll just follow them hopefully and yeah, wait for opportunity after that. So I think we'd rather take it safe down and give it more on the ups. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we're excited to get the day going and hopefully extend our lead and um, yeah, get to the finish safe in one piece. Day two begins with a hard charging district road ride as riders push to be the first into the legendary Umkamas descent. Low hanging cloud made for dramatic scenes against the towering red cliffs. Back on the trail, Mbuko Type Dev 1 led the pro field with Toyota Specialized, Insect Science, Mbuko Type Dev 2, and the blazing Young Guns crew of Trek SA's Von Duren and Chesterton holding their wheels. There was nothing slowing the front runners down on what was talked about as one of the fastest Umco drop in years due to the dry trail conditions. Those five teams would distinguish themselves from the rest of the field in the blast along the valley floor to the first water point, despite local livestock causing a little traffic. Disaster struck the Young Guns team of Pump for Peace in absolute motion as they suffered a slow leak puncture just before the first Umkamas river crossing at the Atlas Copco Bridge. It would continue to give them trouble for the rest of the day. The overcast weather held what could have been a blisteringly hot April day at bay bringing both relief and also allowing for high intensity racing. At the 55k mark, Beers and Nokia started to turn the screws, edging Trek SA's Mbuko Type Dev 2 and eventually Insect Science teams off the bunch before launching a full-blown attack into the Unitrans iconic climb, working a near two-minute gap on Joubert and Buerta. In the final 30 kilometers of the race, Toyota Specialized's lead would peak at 4 minutes before being whittled down to 2 minutes and 35 seconds by the hard-charging Mbuko Type Dev 1 team who had suffered an ill-timed minor mechanical at the base of the Unitrans iconic climb. Beers and Nokia would set a new stage record time in 3 hours, 16 minutes and 51 seconds. They were followed by Mbuko Type Dev 2 minutes and 35 seconds back with Insect Science another 3 minutes behind to round out the podium. We, we went really hard up Iconic and then yeah, we knew once we're at the top there, it's going to be hard for them to come back and just try to capitalize on today so we can, you know, keep it safe tomorrow. Matt and them put in a big effort and as they went, Marco got a stick in his chain, we had to stop quickly. But yeah, from there on, it was just chasing. Matt and Tristan were super strong. We tried to limit our losses, um, but yeah, second place for us today. Lacour and Sanders plan to play it safe on the descents and charge hard on the climbs paid dividends, with the informed team seemingly extending their lead with every pedal stroke. Riding into a league of their own, they racked up the kilometers in a calm and clinical fashion. HH Women's Racing were working hard in second, but try as they might, simply didn't have the speed to stick with Lacour and Sanders. Lacour and Sanders would cross the line in a time of 4 hours, 1 minute and 7 seconds, having pushed themselves to go under 4 hours. Hill and Harms and Pretorius crossed the line just under 27 minutes back, with Campbell and Robinson rounding out the ladies' podium in third. Um, I think we both felt quite fresh and up the tempo a bit, so yeah, super stoked for the day. While the pros were hard at work, the rest of the field were enjoying the journey of a lifetime. Twenty minutes until your start. I mean, this is perfect conditions. Dry, cloudy, no sun in your eyes. So have fun, guys, and yeah, we really appreciate all you guys coming to our event. It uh, makes a big difference. So thanks, guys. Have fun.